Women are becoming increasingly involved in agricultural markets in developing countries, and thus they are key to meeting the growing global demand for food. Yet, in comparison to their male counterparts, women producers are often hampered by poor access to agricultural services and market resources. Also, their engagement in agricultural markets does not necessarily translate into increased incomes, more secure assets, or greater decision-making capacity. In Tanzania, agriculture is the main source of livelihood for poor people, and agricultural economies are smallholder-based. Women smallholders are a very important part of the agricultural workforce and the economy. Gender disparity in the agricultural markets is therefore a big issue. Existing research suggests that by acting collectively in agricultural markets, such as in farmers' associations or agricultural cooperatives, smallholders can enhance their asset base and livelihoods. Women experience numerous barriers to their participation in producer groups, and there is little understanding about which conditions can allow them to benefit from the opportunities presented by the collective action. Collective action thus holds a great promise for multitudes of women. Oxfam began in 2009 a two-year collaborative women's collective action research project with the Royal Tropical Research Institute in Amsterdam. This project is sponsored by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Through a series of stakeholders' dialogues, it is gathering evidence on how women smallholders' collective action in markets across a range of agricultural sectors in Ethiopia, Mali, and Tanzania can improve their incomes, strengthen their assets, and increase empowerment. The three main objectives of the project are to understand how collective action in selected subsectors can empower women in decision making and reduce gender inequities in agricultural markets, to define most effective strategies within the selected subsectors, and to promote adoption of effective strategies for women's collective action. In Tanzania, the Women's Collective Action Research Project is being conducted in the regions of Shinyanga and Tanga. It is important to recognize that there was already an existing knowledge base on the promotion of women's collective action to which this project would contribute. Oxfam thus needed to engage in conversations with practitioners to ensure that the research outputs were relevant and improved the existing approaches. A total of three stakeholder dialogues were co-convened by the National Network of Small-Scale Farmers Groups in Tanzania and the Tanzanian Association of Women Leaders in Agriculture and Environment. Regional dialogues were held in Shinyanga and Tanga, followed by a national dialogue in Dar es Salaam. Around 90 people participated in total, of which 40 were local producers and 60% were women. The purpose of the first round of stakeholder dialogues was to provide a space for stakeholders to influence the research design by choosing the subsectors that the research project would focus on. So this research project is intended not just as an academic study, but as a project the findings will benefit women farmers in these three countries and more uh, widely worldwide. We are committed to engage people by uh, a wide range of stakeholders right from the beginning. Our commitment is that the farmers, the producers themselves, are engaged in our in the research and learning process. The farmers and other stakeholders get involved not just in providing information, but also validating and influencing research design, as well as whatever findings are coming out of this uh, project to take those forward. And this dialogue, this meeting, today meeting is the first in a series of meetings that will happen to engage farmers and other stakeholders in this research. So for us, you are the resource people who have the knowledge and experience of Tanga agriculture market and your experiences will be valuable for us to design for the research. As you would all know that in Tanga there are many agriculture subsectors in which women must be engaged. Today together with you we want to investigate what are the subsectors that where we, we can find women's collective action which have market potential and participation of high participation of women. Participants mentioned more than 30 sectors. According to them, women's involvement in many of these sectors is based on manpower, whereas the men mainly carry out market involvement. Okay, 
Participants grouped products into three groups based on whether the participation of women was high, average or low. Four sectors in which there was a high women involvement from production to the marketing were selected. In Shinyanga, rice, green gram, local chicken and chickpeas were selected as final choices. In Tanga, it was maize, spices, vegetables and alum blackia. National Stakeholder Dialogue was held on Tuesday the 27th of April 2010 at the Markham Hotel in Dar es Salaam. Over 30 participants attended, including women and men agricultural producers from Shinyanga and Tanga, the Tanzanian Federation and the Department of Cooperatives, the Government of Tanzania, private sector and civil society organizations. The objective of the National Dialogue was to confirm six subsectors that the research project would focus on based on the meetings in Tanga and Shinyanga, to increase the influence of women smallholders in discussions on agriculture, to agree on ways to support the research process and how stakeholder engagement would be maintained. The intention is to engage stakeholders, primary stakeholders and secondary stakeholders in the process right from the beginning. And that is why the regional stakeholder dialogues were undertaken with a larger participation of primary stakeholders, that is the smallholder farmers themselves, where, where we, uh, we went through a process to come to, uh, uh, come to identifying what subsectors we need to research, we can be researching further. Uh, so we have proposals from the two uh, regional uh, dialogues. Uh, from Tanga and from Shinyanga and we, we are coming to this dialogue with those two proposals and need to, uh, need to reaffirm the proposals with the experience and knowledge in this room. The researchers attending, who included Dr. Evelyn Lazaro, Professor Ida Isanika and Mr. John Jaconaya presented some of the key concepts, explaining the definitions and criteria for the selection of the subsectors. It was clarified that for the purpose of the research, the term collective action referred as collective action for marketing, hence including those actions where the objective did not directly relate to improved access to markets or returns. It was discussed in what manner collective actions result not only in better access to markets, but also in women's control over their income. The researchers presented the proposals generated in the regional workshops along with the supporting discussions. The participants worked in subgroups to discuss the pros and cons of each of the proposed subsectors to come to a choice of three for each region. For Chinyanga, all groups came up with the same proposal, selecting rice, local chickens and green gram, and dropping chickpeas. 
For Tanga, there were some differences in the proposals from the four groups, and after some discussions, participants reached a consensus to drop the spices subsector. <laughs> This first round of stakeholder dialogue has given us information that will help us in the in finalizing research design. The second round of stakeholder dialogue toward the end of this year, 2010, will focus on sharing and validating the findings of the research project. The third round of stakeholder dialogues at the end of the two-year project will focus on sharing and validating the final outcomes of the research. In conclusion, this project is not a research project per se, but a project about changing practice. Our vision is that in two years, Oxfam programs in Tanzania will have adopted changes in their strategies of support to smallholders' collective action based on evidence on what works. In the future, this will encourage women farmers from the regions of Shinyanga and Tanga to lead as examples to other Tanzanian women and empower them in their development towards alleviation of poverty and gender disparities. Music